Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech. And in this video, I want to talk to you about the NVIDIA 4000 series, 40 series, whatever you want to call it. NVIDIA's next generation GPUs. Well, got some bad news for you. It seems like they're taking a page out of AMD's book to try to limit compute heavy workloads or crypto mining in general. We may still see some significant gains in the gaming performance 3D rendering, but as far as compute and mining, we're not going to see as significant a jump. Basically, in short, what I'm equating this to is the jump from 3 to 4 series is going to be like from 9 to 10 series. But first off, we've been seeing some significant gains. And yes, this is all rumor and speculation as we get closer and closer to the launch of these GPUs. Were they able to get close to 3 gigahertz core clocks, pushing the power envelope even further? We actually seen this with the 3090 Ti as they're pushing that power envelope further and further with the new 12 pin. You know, calling for a 600 watt power supply or 600 watts alone just for the GPU, having to be able to deal with transient loads uh, from your power supplies, power supply manufacturers having to update, modify, create new creative ways to make sure these GPUs are getting the juice they need when it should be a team effort between the GPU manufacturer and the power supply company. But that's a different video for a different day. So we're seeing the 4000 series push the envelope. But why am I saying that I think NVIDIA is taking a page out of AMD's book? Well, as we get more and more resources, and obviously some of the articles have already been updated on the feature. For example, uh, Kopitite uh, basically states that we're going to see instead of a 192-bit bus on the 4070, it's going to be a 160-bit. And that's going to handicap the performance of that card. It may still be great gaming, right? But it's going to handicap the car. Let me bring you back in and say, say some more about this, right? We've seen this with the AMD 6000 series, right? So the 6900 XT, 6800 XT, and 6800 all performed the same when it came to mining Ethereum, which is a memory-intensive algorithm. Uh, you were better off getting a 6800 instead of the XT and the 6900 XT. Just save the money because you were just going to get relatively the same performance. Well, when they took the 6700 XT and put a 192-bit bus on it, they handicap its performance, locking it in around 46, 47 mega hash. So that way it doesn't undercut, or they don't undercut themselves with the 6800 and above. So NVIDIA is going to do something similar to that. So we still may see significant gaming performance, but if you look at the comparison, let's see here. So 160-bit uh, memory bus, uh, they speculate 18 gigabit per second on the memory. The bandwidth at these ratings, right, at these numbers would be 360 gigabytes per second which comparative to the you know current 3070 uh which is 448 gigabytes per second right that's the that's the bandwidth right here now obviously this wccf article is out of date um and it needs to be updated but this is the numbers that i'm talking about we really need to wait for con concrete information data and uh day one reviews to come out but long story short it looks like they're going to use this now that lhr has been defeated to kind of lock the cards in for memory intensive algorithms they might be great on core intensive right like ravencoin or what have you but they're not going to perform as well in the memory intensive applications and even for the 3080 the 3080 uh for example has a memory bus of 320 bit and a bandwidth of 760 gigabytes per second uh versus what is supposedly might be coming out with a 256 uh bit memory bus and we don't know the bandwidth yet, but that 256-bit bus is going to handicap it as well. And don't don't forget about the memory. Some people are saying it's going to have GDDR6X on the 30 or the 4080, while some pe some people are saying it's going to have the GDDR6 non-X memory on the 3070 or 4070 and lower. But we just have to wait for the final numbers to come out. Since NVIDIA is going this route, or possibly could go this route, because we don't, again, we don't have concrete information. It's all based off of speculation and rumors. Um, I do see, now that the LHR lock has been defeated, unless you accidentally update to the wrong driver, them using or creating the hardware in this way to lock down the memory-intensive uh, workloads or to prevent crypto miners from gobbling up these GPUs at launch, right? They want to get the cards into the hands of gamers, AMD's figured out a way to do that through the hardware level. Uh, NVIDIA's done that now with 
the upcoming GPU. So how is that going to make things pan out? Either way, when the 7000 series come out from NVIDIA and NVIDIA drops, uh, or AMD and NVIDIA drops their, uh, their 4000 series, we're going to see a surplus of GPU availability. Uh, that should lead to the secondhand market getting flooded with more GPUs, hopefully dropping everything down below their MSRP, which is where they should have been from the jump. Uh, but of course, the pandemic is still affecting, uh, you know, all of us, supply chains, shortages, so on and so forth. But prices are getting better on hardware. We'll see what happens when the launch of these new generation GPUs come out uh, as far as their power requirements, uh, transient loads. And as well, you know, are they is NVIDIA going to lock down these GPUs and memory intensive applications, compute workloads, crypto mining as a whole? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, but that's going to do it for today's video. Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out links in the description that helps uh, support the channel. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care and have a wonderful day. See you.